here with Ross Berry from Acorn and Oak Property Management. Ross, appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks, Peter. Um, and tell us a little bit about Acorn and Oak and, and really what is property management? What does that involve? Well, property management in North Carolina means that we are licensed real estate brokers managing the properties for other people. If you're managing your own properties, you don't have to have a real estate license in North Carolina, but to have someone else manage it for a fee, then you do need a licensed broker to do that. That's where we come into play. The property management across the scale could be a number of different things. It could be just listing properties uh, as available, screening tenants to make sure that your property has folks in it on a regular basis, or you can go on to the full property management side of things, which is not only getting the property ready for tenants, screening the tenants, getting them in place, but also managing the tenants while in place, managing the maintenance, making sure those items are taken care of, managing the move-ins, move-outs, turnovers, and getting ready for new tenants to come in on the next go-round. At Acorn and Oak, we provide the variety of services there, but most of our clients do prefer our full management services. Okay, and I, I imagine when you say property management, it, it could be a lot of different types of properties there. You're not talking about strip malls, you're not talking about commercial, you're talking about individual residential. What is the variety of, of types of real estate that you help manage? Yes, that is a, a good distinction there. So we work on the residential side of property management. So a lot of single family homes or small multi-units uh, we do some occasional by the bedroom. Those tend to be around colleges and universities, okay. of course. Okay, that I would imagine. Much, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that need is much higher from a roommate standpoint. So we help manage those. But a niche for me as a broker within the property management group is in the single family home, be that condo, townhome, single family detached. Okay. Of. So if I own an investment property, or, or maybe it was even my primary residence, and then it became not my primary residence, you all could take over handling kind of the ongoing job and task of making sure that everything's clicking the way it should be. Essentially, yes. We still need our homeowners to be involved and engaged in the process because, of course, when you own a home, you recognize there's always going to be repairs and upkeep and someone living in the home is going to incur just day-to-day -day wear and tear that has to be addressed. The beauty of a property management company also is holding those tenants accountable for things that go beyond the day-to-day -day wear and tear. But yes, that is uh, something that we can take care of all across that. And so you don't have to be involved except to the degree that you would want to as a homeowner. Okay. Do do you handle a lot of people with just one property or is this oftentimes where maybe somebody's reached capacity or has more properties than they really have time to manage on their own on an ongoing basis? Sure, there is a mix. It is, okay. it is some of those folks who are moving out of their home. They've wanted to keep their investment property here in the Triangle region, then move on maybe to somewhere else in the Triangle region. Possibly for that to be a future uh, investment property for them, or they're moving out of the area uh, on short or long term assignment. They have other needs. But as we've talked about before, certainly investment in property in North Carolina is a very good investment. We are in a good area. Uh, indeed. We are indeed in a good yeah. area. There. Now, speaking of which, you know, there's 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 value, there's cost. Are you going to help the homeowner? have a fair kind of market value, understand what that fair market value is, and then maximize the the return? Right. Absolutely. I wouldn't be doing my job to a homeowner if I were helping them understand what the value of their home is in the rental market. So for each home, we will do a comparative market analysis. Ultimately, the homeowner gets to set the rate that they want, but I will come in with what other homes are renting for Maybe they are currently listed. Maybe they have been recently uh, rented out. There may be other homes that Acorn and Oak has that may be things that you found on commercial sites. We even look through the MLS to build that comparative analysis. And I go to my homeowners with a range and let them know what a low end might look like from a pricing standpoint, kind of where the average is and where I think we may be able to push it a little bit on the higher end as well. We'll also do that comparative analysis each year so that when we come through a turnover period, if the tenants want to renew or want to move out, we know what price point to offer to a renewing tenant. We know what price point we want to go back to in the market. But if a homeowner is well below market value with 
what they are are charging for rent. Uh, you're going to let them know that if they're kind of overvaluing the property and and the the rent that they are expecting, you're going to let them know that. But you're also going to let them know some of the things that they could do within the home. Maybe some small improvements, some some updates, some fixtures that could bring that that fair market rent value up. Absolutely. And that's part of the value of working with a real estate professional. We understand what other houses are doing in that marketplace, and we can help guide homeowners into making those right decisions for the investment to get the best dollar out of their property. There are certain occasions where homeowners may not want to significantly increase the rent. They may be undervaluing for particular reasons. We recognize and we respect that. My job is still to make sure that they are aware of what that market looks like and I'm going to respect the homeowner's wishes and how we set those price points. I checked out the Acorn and Oak website, which is Acorn-Oak, right? The, the, yes, the Acorn, Acorn plus Oak, but online Acorn-Oak. Uh, dot com. Correct. Very clean website, uh, a good size team there yes. that it, it looks like uh, is working with Acorn and Oak. How many properties are, are maybe you helping manage and then the team helping manage? Right. Overall, we have uh, anywhere between 2,000 and 2,500 properties on a regular basis. Wow. Of course, things fluctuate and we are always trying to grow that base. Um, I myself am still getting used to uh, working within the property management world. I came from the buy sell market now into property management and love what I'm doing. So I'm building up my portfolio uh, currently. And there's maybe a time where people are more apt to hold a property and rent it out versus a time where they're 2021 was a fantastic year in the real estate market. They see the value of their home and 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 maybe considering that now it's time to sell rather than rent. Do you is do you see an ebb and flow with with that kind of cycle? There's always going to be that kind of ebb and flow in real estate. So part of the value again of working with a real estate professional like myself, we can have those conversations of what makes sense for you as the homeowner in terms of do you want to continue to hold on to the investment? Do you want to let the investment go? Are there other investments in the area that I can help you select that might fit a good client base for the area? You you mentioned that you do need the homeowner involved. Now, I imagine that there is some level where I want to reduce my involvement if I'm hiring a property management firm. Where's that balance? Like I want to hand off the whole thing and and don't deal with it at all versus the the constant need to be involved in every decision. I imagine is something you have to work through with your your clients. Right. Each client is an individual and a home is a very personal investment. Indeed. So we take time to get to know each other. I want to understand your needs. I want you to also understand the services that we can provide in my personality so we can figure out where that happy medium is. At the end of the day, when a homeowner is using our full property management services, they are paying us to do the job so that they don't have to be as actively involved. There will still be decisions that they have to make, particularly with larger dollar decisions, investments that need to come in to keep the property up to date. But on the day to day, that's our job to make sure that that tenant's needs are taken care of. The simple things are addressed, even complex things are addressed, but we want to keep the homeowner as detached as they need to be, they want to be, so that they let us do the work they're paying us to do without the headaches. When I've talked to a couple of people that I, I, I know personally, they uh, mentioned that they're always worried about the tenants and termites. Right. <laughs> and these are the upkeep items that you've got to worry about, but you're going to let the homeowner know when any kind of problem arises or major issue needs to be addressed and do a lot of the vetting work that sometimes is difficult for the homeowner to get a good stable quality tenant your your eviction rate you've you've mentioned is is very low which has got to be something that that property owners who rent out worry about right i i would think so so we're very uh we're very well structured to protect that very low eviction rate in the way that we screen our tenants we also, when we manage the property, we're on that property multiple times throughout the year doing the inspections to make sure that the tenants are abiding by the lease, but also walking around the outside looking for physical repair issues that may be uh, that may need to be addressed, things that are affecting the structure. We're, if there's a basement, we're looking in the basement for moisture related issues, things you as a homeowner would look out for. So on many the day things day, can but, go wrong in a home. Yeah. 
And, and tenants don't necessarily know to look for those things. They know when a sink breaks. They know when a door lock isn't working properly. They know when the HVAC has gone wrong. We're looking for those other pieces as well to help protect the property itself, as well as the compliance to the lease. As as the home or property owner, though, a light bulb goes out. That's not something I'm going to need to be involved not in. Uh, maybe the toilet's clogged. Maybe somebody got locked out. Uh, oops, I left my keys. Those are the type of... I guess, day-to-day headaches, plus the collection of rent. I mean, right. your your website, again, very clean. It looked very easy to use. There's a button right on there for a tenant to go ahead and make their rent payment. Also, a section of the website it looked like for the home or property owners to check their account. Absolutely. We want to make it as clean and simple as possible for folks to access. And we want to make working with us as clean and simple as possible. We may, we have a very clear list of expectations for our tenants of what they are responsible for in the home as well. And we will remind the tenants. So for instance, if it is a light bulb that goes out, we'll remind that's them on you. That, that, that's a tenant responsibility. Okay. They can handle that. But likewise, we also want to make sure that the home is in the rent ready state. So we will prep it for those tenants coming in, making sure that a deep clean has happened, making sure that the light bulbs are installed and working, making sure that the batteries are in the smoke detector and the carbon monoxide detector and functional. All of those things that we need it to be as a safe home for an inhabitant. And then we try to teach them how to continue to take care of that while they live there. Because it's going to be their home too. Exactly. For, for a period of time. I'm, I imagine you, you have a pretty detailed checklist yes. when you're running through that part of the process. A- absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, again, Ross Barrier with Acorn and Oak Property Management. And a pleasure to have you here on the program, Ross. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it.